Okay, let's find the cheapest shoes. Sort by low to high. Okay, I think I found the cheapest shoes. The delivery does cost more than the shoe itself, but the shoe is only 91p. So let's order this. That should arrive a few days before Christmas, but I'm off home for Christmas to so see you in 2023. Happy New Year! The wonders of post-production, hey? Now the shoes arrived over Christmas. I am so excited to show you these, but first, Tom, behind the camera, what do you make of these? We can't, we can't test those. <laughs> They're not even in a box. They're not even in a box. All right, I'll put you out of your misery. Say hello to the cheapest pair of shoes on Amazon. Ah! <laughs> I always like to do the new sm uh, shoe smell. <coughs> Great. Now, initial impressions. I feel like the logo is a little bit familiar to another brand. So I'm, I'm saying nothing. They're very, very light. They are actually, you know what? I would say as light as a vapor fly. I need to get Mo's reaction for this. Let's see what he thinks. Uh, He's in the gym, of course yeah, he is. <laughs> Sorry, what, um, what are they? These are some shoes that I've just bought for running. How much would you pay for these? What brand are they? I'm not. I'm more about the name. I pay about eighty to hundred. Eighty to a hundred. Do you want to know how much yeah, I pay? How much did you pay? One pound. You are lying. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not lying. I paid a pound. One pound. Yeah. Wow. And about from where? Twenty times that for delivery from Amazon. <laughs> Have you tried them on? No. Do you think they're going to be good? I mean, they look like they have comfort in them. <laughs> Not necessarily in the rain, but definitely they look like they got enough padding. How do they feel? Um, they feel light, <laughs> light and cheap. And if they have one use each, they're worth the money. <laughs> All right, I'll go test them out and report back. Let me know. <laughs> All right, thanks mate, have a good one. 80, 80 to 100 pounds. Comment down below right now, would you pay 80 to 100 pounds for a pair of these? I mean, I like the fact that it's got a nice shiny toe, um, so your toes aren't gonna stick through. I also like the fact that they've done, you know, a bit of heel protection on the back. One thing that I am really loving as well is that on the sole of the shoe, they haven't quite sliced off all of the outsole bits of rubber, so uh, you can literally pick off little bits of the shoe. And uh, if you wanted to replace the insole, then it is completely removable. So you could probably pay about five times as much for the insole of these shoes. One other thing, I wanna know what my mum makes of this. I haven't told her I'm ringing her, so let's give her a call. Uh, so sorry, I meant to turn my camera on. Yeah, you don't have Hello? to. <laughs> How do I do that? There you go. Hello. How much would you pay for these? 150. <laughs> Do you want to know how much I paid? Go on then. One pound. No. Yeah. They, they look fine, don't they? They look... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, they look all right. Who's laughing at me as well? Who are you with? <laughs> yeah, having a good laugh at me. Right, thank you. Right, okay, well, I'll let you get on with your shopping. No. <laughs> okay, bye. Ah, <laughs> oh, mothers, amazing. Now, I reckon we always like to say what the shoe is best for. I reckon this is probably going to be best for a 5K. I was going to try and pronounce what the brand is, but this is how it's spelt. Q-I-G-X-I-H-K-H. -I -I You've got a nice amount of grip on the bottom, uh, quite a nice upper, the laces have a little bit of stretch in them. They've got a nice bit of coating on the end. It's a uh, inbuilt tongue to the shoe, but I did pick it up for about 95p, and then the delivery price for this was 20.99. So still relatively cheap. Interested to see how slippy they are, but I think we should get outside, so let's go. Right, I've just put them on for the first time. What do you think? <laughs> um, as predicted, they are the wrong size. My toe, finishes about here 
um, there is zero cushioning, zero support, I may as well be barefoot. Tom, what do you make of these? I mean, there's technically shoes. <laughs> I'm going to try and go out for an easy 5k and see whether these could replace my current easy 5k run shoes. Tom, is your money on these? Oh, 100%. You think they can do it? Yeah. Want to bet? 10 quid. 10 quid. Okay. You get £10 if I'm going to use these. I get £10 if these go in the bin after this. Yeah. Deal. Let's go. Hello, sorry, it's me again, back in 2022. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. And if this video gets to 5,000 likes, then oh, I can't believe I'm saying this. We will use these Amazon shoes to run a marathon in 2023. A marathon. So hit like. Right, back to the video. It kind of feels like my top of my foot is in nothing. Like my toes are just out in the open in midair, but that's just walking. I best you better get running. Let's go. Now I want a mixture of terrains. So I'm starting off on the road, then I'm gonna go through a park, and then I'm gonna come back through a bit of a muddier park with a mixture of road and pavement. This is probably what barefoot running feels like, with like a weird little bit of wedge underneath my heel. Tell you what though, the laces are holding. They're not awful to be fair, but it's definitely changing the way I'm running. I think that is, like on a serious note, shoes can massively change your running gait, your style, and how your foot's hitting the ground. So having a pair of shoes that do not fit your feet is not going to be good in the long term at all. Oh, a bit of a puddle test there. I just went over those bumps on a crossing and um, fell every single one of them. Oh. I think we might be able to, might be about to have, yeah, hang on, hang on, lace situation. That was a double knot as well. What's my average pace? Eight minutes cost. Right, onto some mud. Their shoes. I don't really know what all the, all the moanings are out to be honest. They've got grip. Let's go really muddy. Oh, no. <laughs> no, they have no grip. <laughs> Another muddy section. <laughs> no grip. No grip at all. I've got to say, I did not think I would be doing 2K in these shoes. So I'm pretty happy with that. You know what? I'm going to call it there. That is four kilometers, which is a lot further than I thought I was going to be getting in these shoes. But if I'm honest, I've been struggling a little bit lately with a bit of foot pain and these do not have enough support. It literally feels like I might as well be running barefoot. So 4K bagged, average pace, 6.54. <laughs> I think that's due to the fact that the laces came undone multiple times, which is very annoying. But having said that, they do have some pluses. I like the toe cap. That's actually better than some hundred pound plus shoes that I've tried out, where even if you slightly go into a puddle, the water starts to seep into the shoe. And you know, it does more than your bare foot would. It keeps your shoe, your foot warm, a little bit protected from water. It doesn't get stones in your shoe. I haven't got any stones in there at all. Mud proof, not so much. You would fall over. But all in all, out of 10, uh, a generous four I would say and um, I don't think I'll be swapping these out for any of the shoes I'm currently looking so Tom it looks like you're getting ten pounds we'll just end it there shall we no. Sorry, sir. <laughs> but what do you think of these shoes let me know in the comments and if these aren't crazy enough for you if a one pound shoe doesn't float your boat then go and watch this video where Anna tried out a heelless shoe equally crazy but also it's good go check it out